not true, just true of the program that you're involved in where you meet with the kids and bring them up to the state capitol here, but just the idea of education and what's going on in the schools, sometimes it's uh, being involved in a production like that that is just as uh, much of an educational experience as what goes on in the classroom. Oh, no doubt. I mean, it's a lifelong experience. There's no question that the confidence and the teamwork and the, you know, the sacrifices that these young uh, students made in, in their high school production will be with them forever, I think. It's mm -hmm. a great, great experience. And now as we've had a chance to review some of the events going on in the Elmont community over the past uh, several weeks and, and months even, uh, we are caught up and we are going to show you now an ongoing food drive that is taking place in the community. And Tom Alfano, I know this is an event that is very special to you. Tell us about it. No question. I mean, we, we live in a global uh, world today, obviously, and uh, we have many Haitian Americans in the 21st Assembly District. And you see we had a press conference about a Friday ago. Senator Skelis is off to my left on the clip. And uh, there's a food crisis in Haiti. Children are starving. And um, we made a commitment to the people. Uh, David Duchatelier, a good friend of mine, asked for help. And uh, we put this press conference together. And now we have several places where uh, people in the district and outside the district can contribute food staples, such as rice and beans and canned uh, goods, non-perishable goods. And they will be sent to the proper authorities in Haiti and, and definitely distributed. We were, we were pleased to be joined by the Council General, Felix Augustine, who's a, a wonderful man. And um, we're really committed to being relentless in our food drive. And some of my colleagues here uh, in the assembly from Queens have come up to me and said that they, are, they will be participating also. And uh, it's a wonderful thing because, you know, children are starving, people are starving in a country that's so near to us, uh, Haiti. And so many of my constituents and friends have relatives in Haiti, and we have a moral obligation to aid and assist them. And, uh, you know, what, again, what a terrific way to bring together the community. This is one of the Haitian officials who's speaking, uh, uh, speaking who uh, is explaining the, the, the plight of the people there and the, the plight of the children. Absolutely. That's the Council General, and uh, he did a magnificent job and gave assurances uh, to the press and to us that uh, the food that we do uh, secure will be put into the right hands. Just a, a terrific uh, way, again, to have to help bring a community together to explain that there are people who are in need and there are ways for the community to help and uh, again people uh, this is a, an ongoing food drive that we're talking about right now so you folks watching want to know how you can contribute Tom Alfano how do they do that? They could call my office and we can uh, at 437-5577 and we'll tell them uh, where to uh, bring the food. Our office is a, is a depository, as are the churches, as are the schools in and the 21st uh, in Elmont. And there's the uh, address and phone number conveniently up on your screen. You can contact Assemblyman Tom Alfano's office again at 437-5577. You can bring the food right to the office. You can call the number and find out if there's a, a place maybe closer to you that would be more convenient. Uh, but please, whatever you folks can uh, put together uh, by way of any kind of a donation, I'm sure would be very, very much appreciated. Now, we've still got a couple minutes left of this program. Let's go back to our discussions at the top about the uh, recently concluded budget negotiations here at the state capitol. Uh, some good news in there for the Belmont racetrack, but that fight is not uh, stopping right there because there's more to be done. There's much more to be done, and, and we're committed to doing it, Mike, whatever it takes. I mean, we will, well, we will convince the speaker... Uh, one way or another that the people of Southwest Nassau County, where virtually every elected official uh, of note is in favor of bringing VLTs to Belmont. It's a nonpartisan issue in terms of the county executive, the local legislators, and uh, certainly uh, Senator Skelos and I have worked tirelessly to see that we can achieve this goal because we realize the jobs it will create. You know, the Senate, we just had a, an interesting Kentucky Derby, right? Big Brown is a Long Island-owned horse, right. uh, two Long Islanders. Um, uh, you know, we'll have that horse. We're now going to the Preakness, a lot of excitement, and then we'll go to the Belmont, right, which is the third leg of the uh, Triple Crown. And if Big Brown wins the Preakness, think of the excitement and the focus that Belmont would be. And wouldn't it be great if we did have a first-rate hotel so that the thousands of people who will be